Step 1. Learn vocabulary. Word list. Accordingly. If someone acts accordingly, they act in a way that is suitable. He feels like he did a good job, and his boss should pay him accordingly. Anchor. An anchor is a heavy object dropped from a boat to make it stay in one place. When the ship reached its destination, the crew dropped the anchor. Buoy. A buoy is a floating sign that warns boats of dangerous areas. Don't steer the boat near those buoys. There are rocks underneath the water. Catastrophe. A catastrophe is an unexpected event that causes great suffering or damage. It was a catastrophe for my family when my dad lost his job. Context. Context is the situations that form the background of an event. They studied the context of the battle before giving their presentation. Designate. To designate someone or something means to give them a particular description. The famous lighthouse was designated a historical monument. Distort. To distort something means to lie about it. His lawyer distorted the facts so that he would be set free. Dock. A dock is an enclosed area where ships go to be loaded, unloaded, and repaired. The huge ship pulled into the dock, and the crew unloaded the cargo. 4. The fore of something is the front part of it. The teacher's desk is at the fore of the classroom. Frequent. If something is frequent, then it happens or is done often. While Dad was sick, the doctor made frequent visits to his house. Genuine. When something is genuine, it is true or real. After the painting was determined to be genuine, it sold for a million dollars. Grease. Grease is an oily substance put on moving parts so they work smoothly. When I was done working on the car, I had grease all over my hands. Intricate. When something is intricate, it has many small parts or details. The intricate painting on the quilt was very lovely. Offset. To offset means to use one thing to cancel out the effect of another thing. Increased wages are offset by higher prices for goods. Overlap. To overlap something means to cover a piece of it. The gift on top overlaps the other gift on the bottom. Precipitate. To precipitate an event means to cause it to happen sooner than normal. The violent attack precipitated an all-out war. Second hand. When something is second hand, it has been owned by someone else. Her second hand jeans were a bit faded in the front. Slot. A slot is a narrow opening in a machine or container. To operate the machine, put your coins into the slot. Submerge. To submerge something means to put it below the surface of a liquid. The whale submerged its huge body into the ocean. Tactic. A tactic is a careful plan to achieve something. Sam thought of a good tactic in order to attract more business. Step 2. Listen to the story without subtitles. Jane's Pride Jane and her father Mike owned a second-hand boat. They called it High Hopes. The two loved to spend time together on the ocean and would often go on long fishing trips. Mike taught Jane how to perform important tasks. Jane learned how to steer the boat and adjust the sails. 
She learned how to put grease on the intricate gears of the motor. She learned how to submerge the anchor and secure it by putting a rope in a slot. Jane liked helping her father, but she thought that she wasn't very good at it. Sometimes she omitted important steps and made frequent mistakes. Jane thought she wasn't capable of manual labor. Mike wanted to prove to her that she was indeed capable and important. He thought of a tactic to test Jane's skills in the context of a catastrophe. He hid under the deck and pretended to be trapped. He shouted, Jane, I can't get out. You have to get back to the dock and find help. Jane began to panic. She thought she might make her usual mistakes, which would precipitate a disaster. However, she had to listen to her dad and act accordingly. She pulled up the anchor with all of her might. She remembered to overlap the sails to offset the wind. She steered the boat around buoys where the water was shallow. When they got to shore, Mike came out from under the deck. Jane said, I thought you were trapped. Mike laughed. He said, It wasn't a genuine emergency. I distorted the truth to test your abilities. Look at what a great job you did getting the boat home safely. I knew you could do it. To honor his daughter, Mike decided to rename his boat. He designated it Jane's Pride and painted the name on the fore of the ship. Jane finally had something to be proud of. Step 3. Listen to the story with subtitles. Jane's Pride Jane and her father Mike owned a second-hand boat. They called it High Hopes. The two loved to spend time together on the ocean and would often go on long fishing trips. Mike taught Jane how to perform important tasks. Jane learned how to steer the boat and adjust the sails. She learned how to put grease on the intricate gears of the motor. She learned how to submerge the anchor and secure it by putting a rope in a slot. Jane liked helping her father, but she thought that she wasn't very good at it. Sometimes she omitted important steps and made frequent mistakes. Jane thought she wasn't capable of manual labor. Mike wanted to prove to her that she was indeed capable and important. He thought of a tactic to test Jane's skills in the context of a catastrophe. He hid under the deck and pretended to be trapped. He shouted, Jane, I can't get out. You have to get back to the dock and find help. Jane began to panic. She thought she might make her usual mistakes, which would precipitate a disaster. However, she had to listen to her dad and act accordingly. She pulled up the anchor with all of her might. She remembered to overlap the sails to offset the wind. She steered the boat around buoys where the water was shallow. When they got to shore, Mike came out from under the deck. Jane said, I thought you were trapped. Mike laughed. He said, It wasn't a genuine emergency. I distorted the truth to test your abilities. Look at what a great job you did getting the boat home safely. I knew you could do it. To honor his daughter, Mike decided to rename his boat. He designated it Jane's Pride and painted the name on the fore of the ship. Jane finally had something to be proud of. Step 4. Answer the questions. 1. Where did Jane have to steer the boat to find help? 2. What was the first thing Jane did after she decided to listen to her dad and act accordingly? 3. On which part of the boat did they paint the name? 4. When Jane overlapped the sails, what was she trying to offset? 5. What was the purpose of Mike deceiving his daughter? Bonus Mark each statement T for true or F for false. Rewrite the false statements to make them true. 1. Jane thought she would precipitate a disaster if she omitted her frequent mistakes. 2. Jane submerged the anchor and secured it by putting a rope in a slot. 3. Jane put grease on the intricate buoy. 4. 
Mike thought of a tactic to test Jane's skills in the context of a catastrophe. 5. Mike designated the second-hand boat, Jane's pride. Answer key. Answer the questions. 1. She had to steer the boat back to the dock to find help. 2. She pulled up the anchor with all of her might. 3. They painted the name on the fore of the ship. 4. She was trying to offset the wind. 5. It was to prove to her that she was capable and important. Bonus. 1. F. Jane thought she would precipitate a disaster if she made her frequent mistakes. 2. T. 3. F. Jane put grease on the intricate motor's gears. 4. T. 5. T.